Properly categorizing transactions is key for generating useful statements. Let's examine the process of categorizing a transaction on an expense form. Anytime you record a financial transaction into QuickBooks, you have to tell QuickBooks why you're receiving money or why you're spending money. And that's where categorization comes in. Whenever we look at an expense transaction, we're able to assign where the money is coming from at the top of the form. And then down here in the category details, we tell QuickBooks why it is that we're spending the money. Most of these selections are going to be straightforward, but there are some important things to point out. Anytime you want to see something singled out on a profit and loss statement, make sure that it has its own expense account. But it's also important to note that sometimes you spend money on things other than expenses. Sometimes you make larger purchases and actually buy assets. There's a big difference between assets and expenses, which is that assets are things that you buy and you get to keep to use over and over again. Whereas an expense is something you spend money on, but you're not able to use it repeatedly. For instance, if you bought a new computer, you get to use that computer consistently every day, so it's an asset. Whereas if you buy a bottle of water, once you drink that bottle of water, it's gone, so that's considered an expense. There's sometimes a little bit more nuance than that, but those are the guiding principles between expenses and assets. Another thing to keep in mind whenever you're categorizing transactions. When you see in your list of options a choice between a parent account and sub-accounts, it's important for you to use a sub-account. This gives you greater control over the level of detail that you see on your profit and loss statement, and it also helps to organize your statements. Finally, one last tip about categorizing transactions. Whenever you look at the expenses list, there is an option for you to change the categorization of multiple transactions. If you've made a mistake and categorized many transactions improperly, you can select their checkboxes here and click Batch Actions and then Categorize Selected. This allows you to recategorize a batch of transactions with a different expense, cost of goods sold, asset, or other account. This allows you to recategorize a batch of transactions with a different expense, cost of sales, asset, or other account. Remember to categorize transactions so that they'll be meaningful to you later on in your reports. Now get started.